feet closer to yours. Catch my breath and I say, I'm the one you're looking for. But so come on, come on, dance a little dance. Take my hand, darling, take a chance. You be my queen, I'll be your king. Show you everything. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. As you can see, got a pretty big package here. Um, this is the wonderful guy, so I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing video. Um, unbox it. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Joke has been telling me there's some videos out there that show this thing being uh, kind of hard to put together. Hopefully it's not too hard for me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this, start unpackaging this, put this together so the kids can have it. So it's got some pretty cool features though. So it fits up to four kids. Uh, I think it fits like 150 pounds or something. Um, it's got a slidable and removable canopy, which is pretty cool. And it's got a five-point safety harness on it to keep the kids in. Um, it also has a handle to push. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, the, the fabric's really easy to clean, and there's also a mat on the bottom where your, your feet go. There's a one-step foot brake, so if you're good, you know need to lock it or something, or you're going down a hill or something, you can you break it so it's not rolling away from you. But we're excited for this one. Um, it's needed for our family since we have four kids now. Uh, we've been we've been needing it and it's just gonna make it easier because we've got you know a stroller doesn't fit all the kids so it's gonna be a lot easier and then once the kids are older we can use it for other things um the dogs can also go in it too which is pretty cool and then we can use it for other things like going to the beach so it's got um rough terrain tires on it so it can go through sand and gravel and dirt and go over rocks and stuff so it's an all-purpose type of wagon it's not just to you know hold kids that's the main purpose of it but you can also use it for storage you go to the beach and stuff like that so we'll go ahead and get this thing started get this thing unboxed it is kind of heavy though i think it's like 40 pounds um hopefully it's compact it looks pretty compact pretty heavy actually oh it smokes so i'm gonna have to cut this box open on the side here this thing's really heavy guys definitely could be a downfall for some of you this is not the lightest which also means the good things usually it's all uh, paid well hopefully this so could jolly before the kids have any ideas bunch of parts like a stain so here's one of the seats so this gives you an idea what the seat looks like so one kid will go here another kid will go there here's the five point harness here to keep them in More parts. Here's the main wagon, guys. So get the instructions out, read the instructions, and get this thing set up. See what it says. So it's like a the, uh, cover of some sort, this might be for the canopy I'm guessing maybe. I always gotta do the project registrations and I'm all about these. Um, cool thing about it is if there's a recall that will alert you. Um, actually happened on our stroller, up a baby stroller, had this filled out and there was a recall on one of the attachments and they sent us new attachments, so it was pretty cool. So I always do this just to be safe, especially with the baby stuff, the kids stuff always fill out the, um, these little contact information for manufacturer defects and warranties and stuff so um like i said if they do um have some type of a defect they usually reach out to you let you know and send you the correct part so upgraded items right here this all-weather mat goes on the bottom where their feet go you can get a cargo net um parent console looks like it's got cup holders and stuff snack tray and a class full shopping basket we got Assembly and safety instructions. So we'll go ahead and open this up. See what step one is. This is what comes with it. And here's some of the features. This is cool too. The storage basket. You can put a bunch of different random stuff in there. So storage is always nice. So all right, we'll go ahead and get this started. Okay, unlock the bottom hatch. Fold this. More parts, some more seats, it looks like. Let's 
So I got this one full, so it kind of gives you guys a idea of how big this is and what room we're working with. I honestly thought it'd be a little bit wider, um, kind of narrow, but we'll see what it looks like when the kids are in it. So that's what it looks like when it's unfolded. We're gonna go to step two now. Make sure the upper lock on the right side of the shoulder snaps into place. Yep, all right, so that's snapped into place. So now we're inserting the wheels. All right, so here's a wheel here. This open here, let's see what we got in here. More wheels here. We gotta figure out what's the front and what's the back, and we're gonna install the front wheels first. This one's the front. Got that one in. Perfect. That one's in now. I recommend putting it on a side because it's tough uh, upward by yourself because you get the wheel rolling and you're trying to hold this at the same time. So I recommend leaning it over, tipping it over on the side like this because it's a lot easier to put the wheel ones in. All right. Make sure they're locked in. That's locked in. That's locked in. Once these are in, they're in. You can't pull them out. Only way to get them out is you have to put like a sharp pointy tool in right here, a little tab. You press it in and then the wheel will be released. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to install the back wheels. So the next step's a little confusing because it's telling you to put the back wheel on. Um, in order to put this, the back wheel on, you have to put this in first. Um, and this is after the wheel, so it doesn't really make sense. So this should go first and the instructions on the wheel. The instructions are saying to put the wheel on first and then this, but in order to put the wheel on, this has to be installed, so it's a little confusing. There's a little middle tab right here, so you just push that in, push this in, it locks in, at least it should. Yep, that one locked in. This one right here I'm pushing, that one locked in as well. It's telling you to push this brake assembly down, um, which you can't do pushing down. You gotta push in the tab and then push it down, so be a little bit more detailed. I use scissors, they push it out. There's like a little metal tab you gotta push on. It's kind of hard to do with your fingers, so. All right, so this is pushed out now, this brake unit. So now I'm gonna put this wheel in. Should just slide right in now. Push the brake unit back in. Tab's back in the hole, so that's good. And this bad boy is locked in. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. I love the smell of this though. Smells like a new pair of shoes. I love that smell. Grab the scissors, push out the brake lock on this side. Pushed out now. All right, so we've got the other wheel here. About to install this. So what this does, here's the braking unit right here. There's a hole in the pole of this wheel and this literally just goes right through it and cinches the tire right in. So I'm gonna pop that back in should be nice and cinched now, which it is. I think this wheel's not in right, so I'm gonna check this. I think it was starting to slide, I noticed. Yep, it is, so let me redo this one. So this is what I'm talking about here. So these holes need a line, and then this goes right through it, cinches it in like that. So he's gotta align the post hole on this down to the hole over there on the wagon. Slide this part through and it cinches the tire in. This plastic piece right here needs to go downward. The holes line up. This part right here should slide right through now. So I just slid this brake part through here and it's now sticking out, which means the wheel should be now locked. So pull on this wheel and now we're locked in. I made a mistake the first time as you guys saw wasn't cinched in correctly. So we got wheels on, we're making progress. These wheels are smooth. This thing is gliding, which is a good sign. So go ahead and go on to the next step and it should be done here shortly. It's not too bad so far. And then back here is there's also a brake um, that's attached to this rear axle here. And it's pretty cool because it locks in the back wheel. So you guys aren't gonna be able to see it from back here, but as you can see, it's rolling right now. And then there's this middle piece right here, um, looks like a step. You literally step down on it and it locks it in. So now as you can see, it's not rolling as well. And all you do to unlock it is you just lift it up with either your foot or your hand, flips up and now you're back rolling. All right, so we're done with the brake set. Now we're gonna install the baseboard. So this is the baseboard here, guys. So this goes down at the bottom um, for the kids with their feet on. I thought we got the all weathered one. I thought it came with it, but it's actually extra. Um, I think we're gonna get it though. And it's kind of like a weathered mat, like you would see um, in a car. So you can like spray it down with water and stuff. So, um, which would be really nice. It keeps it 
clean because this material is like a cloth, so it could get kind of dirty, especially with you know feet on and everything and shoes and dirt. So um, I think we're gonna definitely look into getting all weather mat. We're gonna go ahead and put the standard baseboard in. I think that's all you do when we read the instructions on it. Just the frame here. It's flat on all sides. All right, that was an easy step. So that's done. Next part's gonna be installing the handlebar, which is this right here. It's kind of got like a wetsuit material so you can get it wet, clean it with a baby wipe, whatnot, um, which is it's just it's a nice material. So go ahead and install this. I'll read the instructions to make sure I'm doing it right. So you're pretty much just placing the bolts in and cinching them, it looks like. All right, got both of these in. Now you just take these nuts and just go on the other side and screw them in. Makes it nice and tight. Top one's done. Here's the bottom one. And I'm already utilizing this brake, guys. So I put the brake on so these wheels aren't moving as I'm doing this, which is pretty cool. All right, so that side's done. And you just literally do the same thing on the other side. I'll unbrake it for you. All right, now we're working on the other side, and all you're doing is just taking these screws right here, pop them through the other side, and then you take these nuts and you just cinch it on the other side. So we're going to work on this top one right here. Start screwing it in. You should start seeing the screw come through the other side, which you are right now. Keep screwing until that stops. Go ahead and take this nut here, put it on the other side. And all you do is get it on there, twist it, and then cinch it, tighten it to where it's nice and tight. I'm hanging on the other side here so it doesn't move. And then I'm twisting on this side so it's nice and tight, so it's done. Take this other one, pop it through. Now we got this bottom screw going in now. I had uncinched this because this uh, hole wasn't lined up, so I had to undo the nut here. As you guys can see, this screw is starting to come through this other hole here. So you think it would be lined up because this was cinched in and lined up. This bottom one wasn't lining up, so I'd uncinch this to loosen this so I could move this up a little bit. So these two holes matched. That one's good now. I'm gonna turn it till it stops. That should be good now. Tighten it up till it stops. All right, we're ready to roll. So wagon's intact. Got the baseboard in. All four wheels are in. Handlebars in. Make in progress, guys. Next step is going to be attaching the bench seats. Take one seat, put it at one end of the stroller, and secure the hooks on both sides of the seat under the stroller frame. Now come on in, Bo. Hi, oh, guys. Mrs. Grinch woke up. Yeah, that's why I got okay. woke up all night with the baby. All right, so baby, my wife already knows what to do. I thought you had to... Yep. Attach it to the frame. So she's saying it goes over this yeah, material. It's not going to be an easy glide because you don't want the kids to take it off when it's supposed to be secure. So let me sense this back up. Yeah, I have another picture. So this is how you get the seats in. Take these little C clamps here and you literally just force them onto the frame. It goes mm -hmm. over the canvas here and you just put them over and they'll snap in right there. Oh, there's some back here too. Oh, okay. So that will make it go there's back some... farther. Hooks too. Yep. So there's hooks on both sides, two here and two here on the back. So that's cinched. And then there's a little clip here. On the bottom. Right here. Once this is all cinched, this clip goes into this clip here. This, this goes back here. Oh. So you literally just put it over the frame like that. Like that. And then this clips in. It looks like you can probably tighten it, which you can. So we're gonna tighten it so it's nice and tight. Take this and expand it, and it just snaps right into the frame. And it's durable too, so the kids aren't gonna be able to take these off, which is oh, nice. No. It's a really hard plastic, and it cinches right into the frame, so it's really a good durable piece of plastic and good, good workmanship. They got a little racing seat. Oh there. yeah, and you're gonna feel the sturdiness. Like I'm literally, I'm pushing on them, and it's yeah. nice and sturdy. This one's a W4 original, so this isn't like. The newer one that's out, this is kind of one that they've had in the market. So the newer ones, but we made some adjustments in terms of like how much they they hold. I'm not sure the exact weight, but it was enough for all of our kids. All right, so bench seats are in. 
Um, now we're going to be installing the rear basket. Looks like to be this. So here's the rear basket here. Oh, it's probably for that. accessories and stuff. Cool. No, it would be nice if it was like a cooler this lining. Is cooler. Oh, it's a cooler. Okay. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Oh, You're okay. right. Yeah, it's got a little cooler lining on it. Yeah. It'd actually be nice if this one was because it's bigger. Yeah. Um, or this pocket's a little deceiving. It looks a lot bigger than it yeah. is, but it's not. So that's kind of cool though. It's always nice having like a cooler function. Yeah. So for bottles and stuff. Yeah. All right, so here's the rear basket. So it's right here, guys, on the lower part. Look at that. That's neat. That's even sturdy. Mm -hmm. So that was easy. Mm -hmm. This hasn't been that bad of an install job, guys. And Joe was telling me brutal stories about it. I'm like, yeah, oh, this I looks. Yeah, it looks like really complex. And you guys can see how deep this is, like half my arm goes in it. This is awesome. This is a really nice feature and it's got zippers and everything. So that's pretty cool. And then we just gotta do the canopy. And then, as Angelica said, the last part is installing the canopy. This might be the, the horror part. Or the one part with that, it's on. All right, so you're inserting the canopy tubes through the piping of the canopy fabric. Slide that right through that little hole right there for the fabric. Yep, There's one. The hard part. What was the hard part? And it goes um, in here. And those holes right there. See, none of them even look at the thing. This is actually the most, one of the most tedious parts. Yeah. And then there's holes right, right here. On each side. Boom. Look at that. The kids are going to love it. They're going to think it's a little ride. Yeah. That's cool. We can't put Gianna in there yet, so we're still going to have two strollers right now, but this is going to be awesome. So you can do a pull strap here, guys, so you can attach this here so you can pull it. I think we're okay. We're okay. We can just push it, but there's an option to put the strap on so you can pull it instead of pushing it. You gotta use your, your hand. You it's hard. use the hand? Well, it's hard with your foot. But with, your, with a bare foot, it's hard. Okay. With a shoe, you can do it. You gotta pull up, Bo. Oh, I yeah, baby, it's sturdy. Oh, yeah, this is a bad boy. It this glides. Is suburban. Now, this is the Suburban. These are bag hooks. Oh, sweet. So you can put these bag hooks on, on the outside. Better and better. And it hangs bags for you. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll utilize that. Oh, yeah, for sure. You want them on the... Oh, I don't... I, I, right here, usually, right? And the hooks uh, hold up to 25 pounds. Oh, cool. So, you know, I got a lot of baggage. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want both on the same side or one staggered? Yeah, do like one on one side, one on the other okay. side, just there. in case there so we go. don't have to. So, put it right there. Mm -hmm. so we got bag hooks now. Mm, nice. Mommy's gonna be rolling. All right, guys, so how'd I do? It wasn't too bad. Um, it's actually it's pretty, pretty it's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, the biggest hang up I had was uh, actually the the rear wheels uh, it was just the directions were kind of backwards they were saying to put the wheel in first mm -hmm. um but you had to put in this brake accessory first to slide the wheel in uh, so they should have reversed that um and then i just saw that one wheel wasn't since then so i had to redo that other than that it was easy the canopy was a little tedious getting this rod through here but mm -hmm. it was simple highly recommend it i'll tell you guys how it is as we're using it um, but for right now, I, I love it. It's mm -hmm. great. I thought it was gonna be a little wider. Angelica said there's another model, model out there that's a little wider. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it's good material. It's sturdy. Like mm -hmm. I'm pressing on it and it, it's really sturdy. The seats are sturdy. Yep. The wheels, the wheels glide. They're nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Really good material. You can just feel how sturdy it is. Um, these hooks hold up to 25 pounds for bags. Mm -hmm. You got storage here for coolers. You got storage back here. Flip this around. Got storage back here. And it fits four kids. It's got a nice canopy to it. And it's got other accessories that I showed you guys on the pamphlet. Um, we're gonna get the all weather mat there so this doesn't get dirty because this is like a cloth material. So it's probably gonna yeah. get kind of filthy with shoes and dirt and beach and stuff like that. So yeah, and we might get like a weatherization thing too where we might get um, to keep the cold out. And oh, okay, box, like, a, and like a flap or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool accessories with it. I mean, it seems to be a really good product. As I said, we'll let you guys know as we use it and how good it is. But right now, it, it feels really nice. Yeah. It, it glides. It moves good. It's got a, a brake, which is mm -hmm. um, durable and reliable. It brakes really nice. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll close out the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is not sponsored by Wonderful. Uh, just something that we wanted to buy for our family. Um, if you guys need help with anything, refer to this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, it was really easy, pretty simple. Just follow the directions and kind of just figured things out as I went. Um, but the product seems good. Seems to be really durable product. So, um, but it was, it was pretty simple. And this is, this is what it looks like. And this is the video. So we'll go ahead and see you guys next time in the next video. Bye guys.